I'm going to be turning my video off now so that I can, there's more than one person using Zoom, so. Yes, no, that's absolutely fine. Okay. Um, so, well, all the instructions and I look forward to the session. <laughs> Thank you. Great, Pamela. And I will just mute everyone at the same time. There we go. All right, so obviously if there is anything during the session, you can always unmute yourself if anything's unclear or um, you can just type it in the little chat box. But just sitting nice and comfortably, starting off in any seated position that works for you and allowing your eyes to settle for a moment. Just connecting with the space that you are in right now. So noticing the, the ground beneath you. Hi, that's Jenna. Thank you for joining. Just noticing the ground beneath you. Noticing the sounds around you. Noticing the temperature. So it is quite hot here where I am. And I've had to leave the doors and windows open, but if it does get too noisy, please just message me. Um, or type it in the chat box and I'll close doors. Just noticing the temperature around you, the sounds around you. And bring your awareness inwards a little further. And become aware of the sound of your own breath. Become aware of the sensation of your breath. Noticing the quality of the breath. Is it smooth and steady, fairly regular this evening? Or is it a little more haphazard? Is it a little jumpy? Is it a little sluggish? Just observing so that you have a base point from where you can operate from this evening. And see if you can draw the attention to where the center of your head would be. The center of your head and just observing that space. And does that space feel expansive and open? Does it feel a little restricted, crammed, or maybe even cluttered? And does it feel balanced? Does it feel heavy or light? Are you even able to access that space? And once you've accessed the space, just draw the attention down a little bit further. All the way down to your heart center. See if you can access the center of your heart. Wherever that may be for you. Again, noticing if that center is feeling light and open. But maybe feeling a little tight, restricted. There's a feeling of lightness, heaviness. Or there's a feeling of balance. Just exploring the space of the heart. Good, and then drawing your attention a little further down. See if you can move it all the way through and down to your Svadhisthana chakra, your sacral center. So if you go about two finger widths or so below the navel, down into the center of your being. 
See if you can connect with that space tonight. And notice how that space feels. Are you able to access it easily and quickly? Is it feeling awakened or a little sluggish? Now, as we start with our three yums tonight, see if you can allow the sound of the yums to spiral through that center all the way up to the crown of your head and heart. We'll take a nice deep breath in. Um. hands together, get your hands nice and warm, create a little bit of heat. Cup them over your eyes, take a smooth full breath in. And slowly out. And again, rubbing the palms of the hands together. And this time as you cup them over your eyes, look into the darkness, allow the warmth from the palms of your hands to penetrate your eyes, gently re-energizing them. And stress any tension that you may have picked up throughout the day, feel that you can release that from your eyes now. And then blink the eyes a few times, moving your hands, you can give the hands a little bit of a shake. And then you may want to stretch the legs out, even giving them a bit of a shake. You can keep the legs out in front of you or you can cross them the other way. And start off by taking yourself into a few nice shoulder circles, releasing and warming up into shoulder joints. So this evening we will work nice and gently. We'll have the focus on our sacral chakra, Svadhisthana chakra, and we'll be moving from that space as we work into each of our postures, rotating the other way, just noticing and kind of being aware of the, that center, the water element, the fluid motion. Um, and yeah, we'll see how things go. From there, you can work into your wrists and your hands a little. So we'll be starting in a moment lying. We'll start with a visualization there, and then we'll come onto our knees and then we'll end up standing. Rotate the hands the other way. And then give them a little bit of a shake. Perfect. If the neck is feeling tight, release the chin down to the chest for a moment. Feel that you can relax into the shoulders, breathing into the back of the neck. Stay here for three smooth breaths. And then on the third breath, on the inhalation, draw the chin along the left collarbone to the left so that you're looking over that shoulder. Exhaling, bringing the head back down to the center. And then inhaling, turning your head to the right, look over your left shoulder. And exhaling back to the center. We've got twice more to each side. And seeing if that movement can be nice and fluid and soft, or if there are a couple of creaks or cracks in the neck that come about. And then once you've completed your last round, bring your head back up to the center. Take your shoulders up to your ears. Tilt your head back and rock your head a little from side to side, just massaging the base of the skull. 
with the top of the shoulders, bringing the head back to the center and release. Lovely. Right, so you can come and start off by lying on your mat, lying on your back in any lying position that is comfortable for you. So if you feel you do need to just shake out the legs or release the legs in any way, go ahead and do so. When you are on your mat, allow yourself to really settle comfortably and we're going to go inwards for a couple of minutes and then we'll start working physically again. So as you lie there, you can close your eyes if it feels right and draw your attention right down to your Spadhisthana Chakra again, your sacral center. And in the center of your being, so again, kind of halfway between the navel and your pubic bone and in the center of your body. See if you can breathe into that space. And as you breathe into your Svadhisthana Chakra, just trying to imagine the waves of the ocean. As you inhale, imagine the waves gently pushing up onto shore. And as you exhale, it's as if the waves or the waves return back to the oneness of the ocean. So as you inhale, the waves gently press up. And as you exhale, they return back again. Just getting that image of your breath and the waves moving in unison. And as you inhale, imagine the waves moving from your Svadhisthana chakra down towards your hip joint. And then as you exhale, they return back to that center point. As you inhale, the waves move down towards your hip. And as you exhale, they return back again. And that movement becomes a little bigger. So as you inhale, the waves start to move all the way down your knees. And as you exhale, travel back up your legs. Inhaling all the way down your shins to your feet and your toes. And as you exhale, the waves move back up your legs again. And then again, inhaling, the waves move down the legs. The very tips of your toes. Exhaling. Back. And then the waves change direction. So as you inhale, they start to move upwards a little, moving from the Svadhisthana chakra towards your Manipura chakra, your solar plexus. So as you inhale, you notice the waves moving straight up. And as you exhale, back down. And then on the next inhalation, moving a little higher to Anahata Chakra, your heart center. And exhaling back down. Inhaling, expanding up to the Shuddha Chakra, your throat. Exhaling back down. Inhaling all the way up to Ajna Chakra. Exhaling down, inhaling all the way up to the crown center of your head. Exhaling all the way down. And notice how the waves split a little. So as you inhale, they travel across your shoulders. And exhaling all the way back down to study from a chakra. Inhale, the breath travels up, across, and now down your upper arms to your elbows. And exhaling from the elbows up, around, and down. Just like Inhaling, the breath moves all the way down to the very tips of your fingers. Exhaling, following the breath back again. And then allow the breath to move in all directions, inhaling down your legs to your feet, up to the crown of your head and across the arms, down to your fingers. 
and exhaling all breath and your movement away as you turn back to steady standing challenge. Do that twice more, feeling the breath expanding outwards and then returning inwards. Inhaling, how far can you draw the breath out before you feel you need to return back? And then from there, from that awareness, you're going to slowly move into a gentle movement. So if you don't have your knees bent, just place the soles of your feet onto the mat with your knees bent. And place the hands onto your thighs. Feet and knees can be together and we take it into Supta Baddha Panasana. So as you inhale, you're drawing the arms over your head as the soles of your feet come together and the knees part. And then as you exhale, bringing yourself back in to your original position. So as you inhale and you draw your breath up, your spine up to your head, and your hands and down your legs to your feet. Exhaling as you bring them back again, the breath and your awareness back again. And how far can you take yourself into the posture before you lose the awareness? Exhaling as you come back. How far can you go out to your extremities before you need to yield and return back in? So it might become a smaller movement, might become a bigger movement. Just observing, just noticing. And the next time you inhale and you're in the inhale position, see if you can stay there and rest there for a few breaths. Inhaling to the fingertips, to your toes. Exhaling, drawing your awareness back to sweaty sun chakra. as if there's a gentle wave-like pulsation moving through you as you fall the posture. The motion, the movement of the waves. The focus point of your attention, your awareness. On your exhalation, returning back to center. And releasing the arms down alongside the body, take the feet a little apart and observe how you feel. Super. Right, so we're going to start with, again, a little bit of an inward position. So we'll start with the knees towards the chest and the arms down alongside the body. And then from here, as you inhale, breathing up your legs to your toes, extending the legs up to the ceiling. And taking the arms behind you, and as you exhale, you're turning yourself into a small little ball again. So, inhaling, how far can you kind of breathe into and work into the movement before you lose connection of your Svadhisthana chakra? And you have to move back again with that exhale. So it might really just be a small little movement this evening. You might feel that it can be a large one. And it might change from breath to breath. So you keep moving dynamically, keep exploring, experiencing. And then on your next inhalation, see if you can stay in that posture. So bring the arms back down alongside the body just for ease of comfort. 
we can extend the curve up towards the ceiling. Slow, smooth breath. Yes, see, yep. even though you're holding yourself steady, you can create a sense of ease and lightness in that sacral center. So there's no force, there's no pushing. As you inhale, you're very easily sending that breath up your legs to your toes. And as you exhale, it's like a waterfall kind of cascading back down the legs and returning to that sacral center. Soft face and jaw. Three more slow, smooth breaths. Thank you. Again, there's absolutely no rush to complete your breaths, but when you have on an exhalation, let the knees come to the chest with any gentle squeeze. If you need to rock a little from side to side, please go ahead and do so. And then you can roll all the way onto your right side. And we'll come up onto all fours. All right. So taking it into Chakra Bhagasana, our cat stretch. Make sure you've got enough space behind you to stretch your legs out in a little while. Again, moving smoothly and comfortably. So as you exhale, tucking under your tailbone, rounding the spine, drawing the thing, and inhaling. Open. So let that attention be focused on that Svadhisthana chakra. Allow the kind of the movement to originate from there. Just for this evening. We're going to add a little bit of a leg movement. So as you inhale, extend your right leg back along the mat and up. And then as you exhale, rounding your spine, draw your knee in towards your chest. So as you inhale, you lengthen and, and extend and breathing down into your toes as, a, as that leg moves back. And then as you exhale, you're returning with full awareness. This body starting to check. So inhaling, extending, opening, lengthening, exhaling, rounding. You can bring the forehead to your knees. Again, inhale. How far can you extend out and back before you need to return back again? Continuing to ask yourself that question. Inhaling as that leg goes back and up. Exhaling as you out. Moving to add a little or kind of a second movement to that. So as you exhale this time and you round into it, tuck under your toes, place the toes onto the mat, and then press the buttocks back so that you can feel a nice little gentle stretch through the back of that kidney tendon and heart. So as you inhale, the breath, the movement becomes a little longer. And as you exhale, tucking under the toes and pressing the buttocks back towards the heel. Inhaling as you open. And exhaling as you press back. That twice more on the side. Last one. And release. Maybe just moving the back to the little from side to side. And we do the same thing on the other side. We we'll start off with a couple of cat stretches to even things out. With the full attention, return to Svadhisthana Chakra as we shifted. 
And when you're ready on your inhalation, just try and let your left leg extend back and up. And then as you exhale, you round and join the knee towards your chest. Inhaling. Inhale. Head to lift a little. Exhaling. As you Again, how far can you extend your breath and those waves out before? Oh, they need to return and be drawn them back to the originating, originating starting point. And smooth, easy, slow breath. Trying to keep with that visualization. Again, it's not a complicated or difficult movement, so it's quite nice to actually do it with the eyes closed. Then we'll take it into that little descendant stretch. So when you really on an exhalation as the knee comes to your chest, tuck under your toes, and then just gently taking the buttocks back towards the heel. Inhaling. Extend the mountain and exhaling as you land. Feeling that you're able to. In and squeeze into that space, creating a space for the inhalation as you extend back. Last one. After that last one, gently release. Again, you can release, move the back, move it from side to side. And then take a moment in Mandukasana. Bring the big toes together. Let your knees spread wide apart. Let the back to settle comfortably onto your heel. And then you can either slip the hands under your forehead, you can make fists of your hands, or you can extend them out in front of you. So whichever position you Able to rest and comfortably remain there. And again, take that breath to your sacral center. And allow the breath to move in all directions, down to your feet, up to the front, to your head, forward, backwards, to the sides, the arms. So you're inhaling to the periphery of the whole body, your whole being. And you're exhaling, you're sending to that center point for tonight. Two more breaths here. And with that second exhalation, you can then slowly walk your hands back towards you, coming back up and out. And if you need to lean back, to bend sinuses for a moment so I can do so. Then coming back up onto all fours. We'll start off by extending that right leg all the way back again so we can move towards our balance. So allowing that leg to extend back and then drawing the left arm up. And as you inhale, feel that you can draw your breath from your sacral center down to your right toes and to your left fingers. And as you exhale, full awareness of turning back. Smooth, steady breath. Moving in more of a diagonal direction. Right toes, left fingers. And with the 
an expectation that you can talk to this question. Take a moment to ground and balance. And when you're ready on your next inhalation, left leg can extend back and up. Now the right arm to come up. If you feel you've got your balance, you can close your eyes and you can move into that visualization of breathing to your left toes and your right finger. If not, just for a second for one point on the mat in front of you. As you breathe and you visualize, you notice the breath not only moves to your right fingers, but it moves along your spine through the neck to the crown of your head. And that will make sure that your head isn't tilted up or dropped down. You need to feel the waves move freely and easily. That's it. And again, releasing out of your posture, coming down slowly, about to release back into your heels. And then releasing your wrists and your hands. Drawing them up, out to the sides, and back down. Inhaling, drawing both arms up. As you exhale, you're going to rotate towards the right. And as you exhale, sending the arms down to shoulder level. Inhaling, bringing the arms back up and rotating to the center. Exhale, both arms out to the sides and down. Same thing other side, inhaling, drawing the arms up. Exhaling, rotating to the left. Bringing the arms out down to the sides, breathing in, reaching into the fingers. Drawing the arms back up and back to the center. Exhaling, releasing the arms. Once more to each side, inhaling, drawing the arms up. Exhale, twisting to the right, releasing the arms down. Inhaling, reaching into the fingers, drawing yourself back up. Exhaling, releasing. Last time, other side. Yeah, and here, taking your left hand onto the outside of your right leg. Keep the left hand behind you, breathe them, lift and lengthen. So your right hand behind you gently twist towards the right, looking over that right shoulder, closing the eyes. Now, as you hold your twist, can you imagine the breath and the waves gently? Simply spiraling up your spine to the crown of your head. And then the breath and the waves gently release and spiraling back down the spine. So you're noticing that it's not a very tight spiral, it's a very loose cut spiral. The waves, the energy can move easily and freely up your spine. And then as you hold and you stay in your twist, testing how the inhalation of breath and the waves can move across your shoulders and down your arms. Easily and smoothly and freely. And if you need to soften into that left hand or your wrist so that you can feel the waves moving down to your fingers. Easy. And then two more slow, smooth breaths. And with an inhalation, allow yourself to unwind, descend to the center, breathe up and down the spine for a moment. And then same thing for the other side when you're ready. As you exhale, twisting over to the left, you can bring that right hand onto the outside of your left leg, taking your left hand behind you, breathing and lengthening the spine a little bit more. And as you exhale, you can invite the body to rotate you can twist. Noticing if your head, your neck feels comfortable to look over your left shoulder. And again. 
in a gentle pulsation of the breath, the waves traveling up the spine, around your head. If you're floating across the shoulders and down the arms to your hands, something really easy. Very smooth, beautiful breath. Noticing if there's an area in the body where the, the waves, the water, not able to move easy and smoothly, or maybe where it's forcing a little, a building. Maybe you take your focus and your breath to that point of those areas. Feel as if the water is able to wash away any tightness, any resistance, so that it can move easily and smoothly. And then when you're ready on an inhalation, bring yourself back to the center. And you're welcome to stay here, holding your posture for a moment. If you feel you need to fold forward into Yuvalasana, please do that. Everything back into alignment, breath coming up and down the spine. Coming back onto all fours, tucking up your toes, and then from here we're going to cut up, shush, up into Adamakasvanasana. We are down the facing dog. So again, just gently working into waking up, warming up the legs a little. And you can hold for a moment, allow your head and your neck to just hang. Super. Right, so if you can need to walk out those legs, go ahead. We are then eventually going to walk the feet towards the hands. And when the feet are Close to your hands, they kind of need to be, and you're in your floppy forward bend. Stay there for a moment. And then very slowly uncurl, bringing the neck and head up last, reaching the arms all the way up, reaching into the fingers, and exhaling, releasing them out to the sides and down. Super. We'll take it into a soft Uttanasana in and Uttakadasana of squat. So we need to breathe in, reaching the arms up, taking the breath and the waves up and down. As you exhale, extend forward to down into a nice soft Uttanasana. Line the fingertips to reach the mat, relaxing the head and the neck down. You can take an extra breath here if you need to. And then release your buttocks down into a squat, reaching the arms forward and up. And as you inhale, press down into your feet and come up slowly and easily. Exhaling, releasing the arms up and down. A few rounds of breathing in as the arms raise up. Exhaling into a nice soft version of an Uttanasana. Take a breath or two here. So feeling again the waves moving along your spine down to your hands, down to the hips, down to the ribs and your feet. And as you push down into your feet, allow the back to drop a little, reaching the arms up and using that soft springiness with inside you to push yourself up. And to release the arms down. We're doing three more slow rounds. Inhaling as you lift them open. Exhale as you fold and close, returning to our midline. Breathing in and out in this position. Coming in on an inhalation, extending into your fullest extended position where the waves move to your toes and to your fingers. And then as you exhale, the waves return back 
On this round, we're going to stay down, we're going to hold it. Really interesting. But this time, when you're in your Uttanasana, if you want to make it a little stronger by activating into the legs and pressing down into your fingers, you can do that. If you need to stay soft, remain soft. Even though your feet are grounded down to the mat, and on the inhalation, you're really able to kind of send the weight and the tension down to the feet and hands. Feel that on the exhalation, you're still able to have that contact, but that there's a lightness with it, creating space so that when the next inhalation comes, you breathe down into the feet. It's as if you can go a little bit further, a little bit deeper into yourself. Feeling that you're able to move from the inside out. And last breath here. And then releasing out of it by the buttocks coming down, the arms coming out in front, inhaling, coming all the way up. And exhaling, releasing. And if you need to shake out your legs, go ahead and do so. You wiggle a little wiggle. Good. And then we'll take the feet apart. So we'll work into a variation of Virabhadrasan number two. Let's start off with the toes angling, kind of the feet angling in a little. And then we wake up into the hip. So we'll work with the right hip first. All you're going to do is you're going to rotate your, your right hip. You're going to lift your toes, be rotating on your heel, turning the foot out, and then bringing the foot back in. Turning that right foot out, and then back in. And noticing how it feels in this leg and that hip joint as you do that rotation. Is it quite happy? And the next time that foot is rotated out, let it stay there. And then we'll play from that rotation and bend into that right knee and then straighten again. We need to bend into that knee. We're going to inhale as we bend today, taking the awareness into the feet and then exhaling back to the midpoint. And then we can include the arms. So as you inhale, the arms can lift. And as you exhale, the arms can lift. Again, how far can you extend out before you need to return back in? And can you keep it nice and soft? So not necessarily having to be a stiff, strong bit of adjustment number two, but a nice light one. Inhaling soft, fluid, easeful. Can you keep that lightness, that momentum? that wave-like feeling in the shoulders and the neck. Obviously, if you feel like sinking deeper into that right knee and leg, you can. This time when the arms are up, stay there. Just keep peering past your right fingertips. Feel that the breath can move evenly through both shoulders and to both fingers so that you're not reaching into the right, nor are you reaching back into the left. You're not taking all the weight into your right leg and neither are you sinking back into the mid. But there's an equal spreading, an equal spreading from right to left, equal spreading of energy down to the legs and up to the arms. Equal spreading right up to the crown of your head and down into the earth. Good. 
And then when you are ready, I'm going to emulate and come back. Exhale, releasing the arms, rotating the feet in. Right, adjusting. And then we'll do the same thing on the other side. So taking your attention into your left leg. Let the toes turn in a little. And then just rotate. Your left foot out. And the left foot in. And you're noticing that there is a change and a movement in this right and this left hip, sorry, and this leg. And then once you're aware of how far and how open this leg, hip, are capable of moving, let that foot stay there. And then just gently bending into that left knee now. Inhale as you bend into the knee, sending the breath and the awareness evenly down through those legs. Exhaling back up again, and then we can move with the arms. As you inhale, let the arms just float up, put them across your left fingertips. And exhaling and turning back to Swadhisthana. Then how far can you go out before you kind of lose yourself? How far can you go out before it's time to return back in? Where is the point that you kind of lose your sense of gravity, your balance, the awareness of the posture? If you get to that point, you've gone a little bit too far. We're just bringing back in from it. Let's do a few more, one or two more here. When you feel ready, and your body will know when it's time, you can stay in your warrior number two, a nice soft, light warrior two. Breath moving evenly up as it is down. Through the right side of the body as through the left. Down to the legs as up to the arms. Long, soft, easeful neck. And then from there, when you're ready, and back to your center on an exhalation. And then repeat in. You can walk them in and up towards each other. And then, as always, once you've been out, it's always nice to come back in. So we can rest in a nice, soft, floppy forward bend, folding forward, relaxing the head and the neck. Watching that the knees don't flare out too much to the sides. Resting there. Breathing easily, smoothly, lightly. And then when you are ready to come out of your posture, you can do so uncurling. Coming all the way up. If you need to lean back to join the sciences, you're welcome to do so. And coming back to the center. Lovely. And then from here, let's come down onto our mats. sitting in any comfortable position that works for you. Maybe just crossing the legs the opposite way to how you started, just that because we were there for a while. And we'll take ourselves into a little bit of pranayama here before we come down for our yoga nidra. So sitting nice and comfortably, feeling that you're able to Sit tall, allow the shoulders to relax. 
feel the connection with the ground, with the spine, chest nice and open. Moving into your chair breath. So just listening to the soft rasping sound that you create in the back of the throat. Again, smooth, easy breaths in. Allowing everything to settle. As you open or with your finger, just draw the attention to your nostrils. Noticing is there a nostril that is feeling a little more open, a little more active. Notice is your mind. Not sluggish, it's a little overactive still. Is there a sense of internal heat or is there a heat? You're going to choose this evening if you would like to do your Chandra Bedna, I mean your, your Surya, Surya Bedna or your Chandra. The, Kind of solar breath or more than the cooling lunar breath. So if you feel that you need to kind of activate and create a bit of heat, you can work with your surya bedna. So then inhaling through your right nostril, and you can exhale through the left, inhaling through the right. The exhaling to the left, or if you prefer, you can even exhale to both. If you feel that you need to maybe activate or energize or work the left nostril with finger working into kind of the chandra bedna, then you can use your right hand to manipulate the breath. You can then inhale through the left and exhale through the you choose which one you feel drawn to this evening. And if you feel that neither of them are talking to you, you can always take yourself into your night and show them. Allow yourself to settle into a breath of choice. Remember that you can always adapt or change your arm position if you need to. You can change from your right hand to your left if it gets tired. If you feel that it gets too much, you can just you release your hand down and work with the visualization of the breath traveling in through one nostril, the third eye center, and then out the other. That is creating that circuit line. Sensation. Remember that the touch of the fingers to your nostrils is ever so slight. Extremely soft and gentle. You're not manipulating with strength or force. It's more just of an awareness, a reminder. You know, the qualities of the breath, 
in me a little more kind now that we settled in the back. The body is an amazing thing, and seeing as we connect to it intuitively, you already know what kind of breathing practice you need, what you are drawn to. And the important thing is to always listen to it. the practice you're doing, doing about three more rounds. I've completed your three rounds. You can release the hand you are working with you using. I'm going to a light breath, either a soft, light, or breath, or just a normal, natural breath. Noticing how you feel. Seeing how you feel on a physical level. Noticing how the mind feels. Is there a little bit more space or a bit more clarity? Notice how the emotions are possibly settled. And then from that lovely, soft, quiet, centered point, you can come down and make yourself comfortable for relaxation, the yoga nidra. So if you need to put on jerseys or anything like that, it sucks. And you can do so. If you need to grab a blanket, turn off your lights, and you need to grab an eye bag or a bolster, whatever um, you need to be comfortable, go ahead and do so. And then once you have made yourself comfortable in your most comfortable lying position, you're going to, I'll give you a few more minutes to get there. When you do get into a comfortable lying position, feel that you can allow your whole body to release and to settle down into the ground. So as your physical body relaxes and releases into the earth, you can allow your head to just lull a little from side to side, releasing any tension from the back of the neck. And then bring your head back to the center. You can make tight fists of your hands, reach your hands down towards your feet, take a deep breath in. Then as you exhale, relax and release, soft arms, soft hands, relax. And then flex your feet, tighten your thighs, tighten your buttocks, squeeze as much as you feel necessary. 
And then as you exhale, relax and release your control. Inhale deeply, allow your belly to rise. And then sigh the air out, letting your breath go. Inhaling deeply, allow your belly to rise. And sigh it out. Last time, breathing deeply, allow your whole body to expand fully. And exhaling, let me go. Super. And then like we've been doing all evening, draw your attention back down to your spinal stamina chakra, your solar plexus, and your sacral center. So connecting to that space. And again, allow your waves to move from there. Allow the waves as you inhale to move down the lower abdomen, down the buttock, down into your hip joint. And as you exhale, the waves return to that center point. And as you inhale and the waves move down, they create space and they soften. And the physical parts of your being begin to relax as the waves return back up. Inhaling, allow the waves to travel down your legs to your knees. And as you exhale, relaxing your upper legs. Inhale, allow the waves and the breath to travel down your legs, down your shins to your ankles. As you exhale, the breath moves up, relaxing the shins, the calves, and the knees. Inhaling, the breath moves down to your feet, to the very tips of your toes. As you exhale, toes, feet, and ankles soften a little bit more. Inhaling, the breath starts to move in the opposite direction, in an upward direction. Moving towards your solar plexus this time. And as you exhale, softening all the muscles, all the soft tissue on the way down. Allowing, allowing to travel up towards your heart center. the soft tissue and muscles on the way back down. Inhaling, allowing the breath to travel up the throat and the face and the head. Each wave-like motion going a little bit further, a little bit higher. Exhaling, releasing and relaxing. Inhaling right up to the crown of the head. Exhaling all the way down. And this time as you inhale, allow your breath to move across the shoulders, collarbones, down your arms. Exhaling, returning back to sacral center. Inhaling down past the elbow to the lower arm. Exhaling back, softening along the way. Inhaling right down to the very tips of your fingers. Exhaling all the way back. 
And as you inhale, feel that you can breathe into your extremities, inhaling into all parts of your being. Exhaling, returning back to that center. We're going to continue to breathe in that manner for the next little while. Keep breathing, keep breathing. I'm going to try and talk on the boat. Inhaling into the extremities. Exhaling back. Continue breathing in the extremities, exhaling to your center point. Allowing the qualities of the movement of the water to move the ends of your being and returning back. A soft, fluid, moving with the changes. Finding the rhythm, finding pulsation, settling into it. Noticing how maybe the breath and the waves can go a little bit further as if they're just passing the extremities of your physical being. They're just going a little bit further on. Kind of exploring, trying to see what is further than me. And then returning again to that center point in the ocean. Exploring the realm of possibility just a little bit further than your physical being. Noticing how beautiful, light and free, fluid that movement, the waves have become. Pulsating with the rhythm of the universe. And from that stillness, from that pulsation, draw your awareness back and you can allow it to stay at Swadhi Stana Chakra. Just imagining it's gentle, kind of like ebbing and flowing with the waves, as if you're floating on them. Just rising and falling. And slowly allow that image to 
to drift off as well until it is just you and your physical body in the space that you are in right now. And become a little bit more aware of the sensation of your body resting on the ground. Noticing the air against your body. Noticing the sound in the room nearby. And begin to breathe a little more deeply, noticing the rise and fall into the chest. And allow your thumbs to move along your fingertips, raising up your hands, and then wiggle your toes, raising up your feet. When you really stretch your arms out behind you, how do you want if you want to? You can stretch diagonally through the body, right arm, left leg, left arm, right leg, arms one way, legs the other. Take a nice deep breath in, and then let it go. Eventually, just rolling onto your right side. Just staying there for a moment, giving your body a chance to readjust, locking in the energy. When you're ready, you can come up into a seated position. So that we can end with our three arms again, closing. So sitting in whichever way you feel comfortable with. Bring your hands into a mudra of your choice. And see if you can find those three center points we worked with a little earlier, nine again. So this time, now that that sacral center has been worked and awakened, observing where that space is, and gently placing the heart center above that. And then I'd like to call it the brain center, but pretty much your Ajna chakra on top of that. So everything perfectly aligned. And again, allow that arm vibration to spiral through you. So take a smooth breath in. Oh. Om Shanti. May you go in peace. And Namaste. I hope you all have a lovely, lovely evening. Thank you all for being here and for joining in. Um, okay.